guys it is currently the night before or technically it's the day of but it's like really early in the morning so I count it as the night before but it is the night before the Taylor Swift Eras Tour movie I just painted my nails they are nubs I know don't judge me I just painted my nails a pretty purple because hint my outfit is based off of like a purple theme aka speak now Taylor's version and I'm just like prepping and getting ready because honestly this feels like a concert and I haven't been to a concert since August so I'm treating this like a concert. This is the first time that I'm seeing the songs like live or just ever because I didn't go to the tour. So yes, I am going to be finishing up my friendship bracelets. I'm putting some of them on so you can kind of see them stacked up on my wrist. I did make some friendship bracelets for the movie and obviously all the friendship bracelets are inspired by Taylor's songs. I don't know if you can see but that one says style this one says reputation that one is upside down but it says karma this one says speak now and then this one says evermore I have more right here I have 12 but I think I'm gonna make about maybe three to four more because I'm also giving out freebies I'm giving out little Taylor Swift photo cards because obviously I am a k-pop stan and I have to give out photo cards so yeah I'm really excited about my friendship bracelets and my freebies that I'm going to be making for the movie uh, I'm going to have chocolates and photo cards as well as like my little business cards and maybe some stickers if I can manage to find a couple I have my string I have my beads and then I have this little BTS container with more beads so yeah I'm gonna finish making uh, three to four of these so I could have and I'm gonna wear these like on my wrist obviously because I kind of want to just like trade like this I do have bags but they're really tiny and I really don't feel like packing all these bracelets so I'm just gonna wear them all on my wrist tomorrow but yeah I'm really really excited um I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and stuff tomorrow because I'm gonna like halfway get ready because I do work tomorrow um but I'm gonna get off early and then I'll like vlog and stuff later but I just wanted to do a quick little intro slash like behind the scenes night before vlog um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make some bracelets <laughs>
all right hey guys it is the next morning and as you can tell i just got out the shower and yes i have a towel on so i am not naked but i'm currently getting ready i am going to be doing like most of my makeup um my eye and some of my base makeup i'm just using my mario Badescu spray i've had this for such a long time and i need to like use it up so i like to just spray it on my body and my skin and then i'll moisturize with vaseline and then i do my skincare afterwards i'm also going to be putting on a sheet mask i'm using this horse sheet mask because i feel like it's very fitting with like the taylor swift brand <laughs> so yeah i'm just going to be doing my makeup i'm going to film a little bit of it i wear a mask at work so i'm not going to be doing my like base and my foundation and concealer just because you're not going to really see it anyway i look very scary right now so i am going to catch you guys once i start doing my makeup all right i'm looking decent again i'm just applying a little bit of sunscreen and now i'm going to be starting my makeup also i got this really cute heart mirror from amazon also ignore all of the mess that it is reflecting i have my fingerprints on it now but yeah this is a really cute mirror from amazon i'll link it down below it was really cheap um it's kind of lightweight but I really like it and it reminds me of shiny so that's why I bought it but yeah, I'm just using my James Charles palette I'm just doing like a very basic purple look I'm gonna add some shimmer a bit later and then I'm gonna bring that shimmer with me because I don't know if it's gonna last the whole day My makeup is actually turning out pretty good. I think it's because I'm like taking my time, but I need to hurry up because I am actually running very, very late. So I need to hurry up. I'm really excited for the Taylor Swift movie tonight because I've never been to like a like Western stan event, if that makes sense. Obviously, I've gone to like a lot of K-pop movies. Like I've been to Monster X, Blackpink, NCT Dream and like multiple like BTS movies and concerts in the movie theaters so I'm like very used to like how those are and because we're like all K-pop stands I feel like we like automatically like connect but I've never been to like a event where like there are like western stands if that makes sense i've obviously been to concerts where like the fans or like the fandom are like very close like paramore or like kafune um i feel like those fan bases and fandoms are like very close like it's easy to like you know be friendly with people but i still don't feel like that connection like i do to like k-pop stands if that makes any sense but i've been watching a lot of eras tour vlogs on youtube and it's just really like interesting to like see like how they share friendship bracelets and like you know how they still connect in like a different way so hopefully i can like either make some friends or just you know get a chance to like pass out my freebies hopefully everyone is nice and i just have a good time i also really hope that they have popcorn buckets for the movie tonight and I hope that they don't run out because Taylor actually like surprise like released a, a showing for Thursday so the movie is already out it was out yesterday and tonight is like the real opening night if that makes sense and I'm going to the second showing uh, because the first showing at like one of the major theaters in my city was full so I'm actually really scared and I really hope that I can get a popcorn bucket and the drink and normally I don't even like eat popcorn at the movie theaters like that often or if I do I'll like steal it from like a friend or something but I really want to get the bucket obviously because I feel like that's a part of the experience and I know that they've been giving the bucket to like non Taylor movie attendees so like if you go see like Oppenheimer or like another movie that you'll get that popcorn bucket too so I'm really afraid that they're gonna run out because my city is very incompetent like I know it probably seems like a crazy statement or like a very broad general statement but like but I swear even down to the movie theaters like my city is so incompetent and they never know how to do anything right so I would not be surprised if they run out but hopefully they don't I may honestly try to like go early and like gauge and like see if I can like 
buy the bucket early and then just like fill up before the movie I don't really know but we shall see my brows look a little bit crazy but we are just going to go with the flow I'm almost done and I can redo this once I get off so I'm not going to be too concerned and the last thing I'm going to be adding is this like colored gram like eye topper it's like a really pretty like eye glitter like I'll swatch it for you guys I got it from Amazon okay you like literally can't see it it kind of just looks like grease but it's so pretty and it's so shimmery so I'm just gonna add the tiniest a bit to the top of my eyes right here um, I'm gonna reapply this because I don't know if this is gonna stay um, I also don't want to mess up the base of my purple, so I'm just like lightly tapping it. But yeah, this is so pretty, and I'm done with my eye makeup. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing my face or my lips because I'm going to be wearing a mask. I'll apply concealer and stuff later once I get off work. But yeah, I'm going to try to like quickly fix my hair. I already have it like in these braids, but I'm going to try to like kind of fix my edges. I might honestly wear a scarf today and then just do my hair after work but um yeah I'm gonna try to like fix my hair and then I'll head out because I'm late <laughs> make me play the fool no I don't like you I got harder in the nick of time honey I rose up from the dead I do it all the time me too look what you made me do look what you just made me do look what you just made me do don't trust nobody and nobody trusts me Guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm currently at Whole Foods. My movie starts at 7.30, so I'm just waiting until the movie starts. Um, and to like go over there so I'm just chilling at a Whole Foods I'm just drinking a drink and I have some chips but I'm still gonna get popcorn too I also bought this bag from Dollar Tree today it is a cat um, obviously because Karma is my cat and inside I have my little Taylor Swift freebie so I just have all of my Taylor Swift PCs in here but super super cute hopefully you can hear me because i'm like right under like this big air conditioner and i don't know if i can do it but super cute Okay, I have so many. They have like different names on them. You can just choose one style for my favorite songs. Right. <laughs> I love your 13. Thank you. And then I have, let's see. Um, lots of albums. Okay. Some, some of them are multiple. Like, oh, I, I like the black. Oh, yeah, Reputation. I'll take that one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Which one do you want? Uh, I'll do the debut one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. <laughs>
guys so i tried to record an outro on my camera but my camera is freaking out right now so i'm just recording on my computer's webcam hopefully you guys can hear me i am going to turn the volume up on the audio so hopefully you can hear me when i'm editing but i wanted to film a quick outro for the video and also recap my experience seeing the movie and also do a little haul because i did get a couple of things so obviously the first thing i got was the taylor swift bucket and this is what it looks like it's super super cute obviously it has all of the photos from all of the eras on it so it's really really pretty not gonna lie i'm kind of salty because i saw from social media that other cities have like way cuter buckets like their buckets are pink and they're bigger and they're like metal and not like a plastic bucket like it kind of looks like a garbage can or just like a really fancy like christmas popcorn bucket or tin so i'm kind of salty that ours was like a plastic bucket however if you want to go trick-or-treating this halloween then you are ready you don't need a candy bucket because it has this nice little handle and it's pretty big and not gonna lie i ate the whole thing so um yes here is the bucket super super cute and then here is the cup that i got it is reusable however the lid and the straw aren't reusable I just have the lid on here for right now but yeah it just says the same thing Taylor Swift the Eras tour a very very pretty cup I cannot wait to drink my water out of this and if you watched the vlog you saw that I was able to trade friendship bracelets so I'm gonna go through a couple of the bracelets that I got this one is just black and it just says reputation this one is green and it says I'd lie. This one is like a multicolor one and it just says karma. This one is a pretty green one and it just says debut. This one is probably my favorite. It's really rainbow colored and it says YNTCD. I don't know what that means because I'm a fake Swifty so I can't like remember like what song this is like it sounds familiar but I don't know what song it is so if you guys know what song it is let me know down below this one is colorful and it just says shake it off and then these as you can tell are pretty amateur like these have the strings still attached to them but these were made by the sweetest girls at the movie like they were like the tiniest girls probably three or four like no older than like five years old and they are super super cute this one says long live and then this one says evermore i love like the fall like pumpkin colors for this one but yes these are the friendship bracelets that i got and i was able to trade all of my friendship bracelets as well as well as pass out a lot of my freebies so i hope you guys enjoyed them and it was really fun passing them out but to recap the movie it was an actual concert like it wasn't like a documentary style with like backstage you know footage or interviews or anything like k-pop movies are it was a full concert start to finish and i actually really enjoyed that because once again like i said earlier i didn't see the eras tour live so i didn't know like you know what the songs look like or you know what song she was even playing so it was nice to see the concert from start to finish and after seeing her perform even though it wasn't in real life like i really want to go to her concert and to the Eras tour. She is having like an extension of the tour next year in Louisiana, Texas, not Texas, Florida, and I think Indiana. So hopefully I can go to one of those dates because I really wanna see her live. Like she is such an amazing performer. A lot of people hate on her online and say that she's not good live, but I could tell from the screen like how good she was live like she's so expressive and she really puts her all into her performance into her art so I honestly have such a bigger appreciation for her I am what you call a born again Swifty like I kind of fell off in the recent years I was a huge Swifty in like 2013 2014 red in like 1989 was like my like peak Swifty era and Speaking of, I'm so excited for 1989 Taylor's version. Like, that is one of my favorite albums of all time. So I'm very happy to hear the new songs and to just hear these songs remastered and put in her own style. So yes, I am very excited. But in conclusion, I love the movie. Also, everybody was so nice. I remember saying how I didn't know like how it would be because 
I'm very used to like K-pop stands. I don't know how like Swifties or like Western stands would be, but everybody was super, super sweet. A lot of people were making friendship bracelets as well, and that's why I was able to get so many. So yes, I'm very happy and just appreciative that I was able to go see the movie and hopefully I could see her next year. So um, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for all the clips that I have in here. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like me and my content, don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Follow me on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay colorful. Bye-bye.